Hey guys, it's Jess, and I'm excited to share another video with you for the Hedgehog Hollow. This video features the June 2020 box, and I am in love with all of the geometrical patterns that we have here in the box this month. I decided to use the butterflies for my card today, and I'm actually using the same image multiple times to create my design on the card here. So you can see that I'm using some black ink. This ink is safe for using with water, and it doesn't smear. Uh, now, if you really want to use a lot of water, I would definitely recommend using a watercolor cardstock, but I just used a uh, Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock and it held up okay. I didn't use a ton of water, uh, so it ended up working out okay. <laughs> um, I'm using three different colors of Distress inks here. Normally I go for Distress Oxides, but this time I wanted to have something a little bit more um, or I guess less oxidized uh, than the oxides are. Um, I wanted something a little bit more in the natural colors and I thought the Distress inks would be perfect for this. Now my Cracked Pistachio is a little bit dry. I need to re-ink it. So I didn't get quite as vibrant a color as I wanted with that, but I actually really like the way that it turned out. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just smushing the ink pad directly onto a little piece of scrap plastic that I keep on hand for doing water, uh, like water coloring or ink smushing or anything like that. Um, I put the ink pad directly on there and then I spritz it with water using the Distress Sprayer. Any little water bottle that you have will work perfect for that. And then I'm using a round paintbrush to pick up the paint, or the ink in this case, uh, off of my little palette there and then apply it directly to my cardstock right over top of the stamped images. Now this is, um, or like what I was going for here, is more of a loose watercolor, so I'm not trying to stay in the lines. I wanted it to be messy. I wanted it to be just really loose and flowing. I thought those butterflies were perfect for that. Um, and it was a nice contrast to with the geometric look um, this kind of gives you or makes you want to be a little bit more perfect and colored directly inside those lines so I thought that the contrast with the loose watercolor and those nice sharp geometric shapes would be really cool I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with the worn lipstick, which I already applied, and then now the Seedless Preserves. This is a really beautiful color combination, and especially with the addition of the water, it makes each of the colors just a little bit lighter and less intense than they would have been on their own if no water had been added, and I really love that effect. It's like a really nice spring sort of vibe to it, sort of pastel colors, and I absolutely love that. Now, I did use my heat tool from Ranger here to go ahead and dry that but you could also set it aside and let it dry naturally if your paper warps at all you can just gently sort of fold and bend the edges back to get it to lay flat again and that works really well for me I am going to go ahead and do some heat embossing for my sentiment here. I decided I wanted to go fairly small, um, but as per usual, I'm using a piece of black cardstock for my sentiment. I applied the embossing ink, uh, let's letter it ink from Ranger, uh, after treating the surface with an anti-static powder. I'm pouring on the uh, white embossing powder also from Ranger, and then I just tap off the excess. Uh, once I've got that where I need it, I can go ahead and melt that with my heat tool, and that sets the powder, uh, make sure it doesn't move, and then I can go ahead and trim down the little piece that I've got here. I decided to use this itty bitty little paper, paper trimmer because it doesn't see enough use in my craft room and I thought sentiments were perfect for this. Uh, so I went ahead and trimmed that down but then I just grabbed a piece uh, or a pair of scissors to use to trim off the edges. Um, I just thought it would be a little more precise to do it that way. <laughs> I experimented a little bit with the placement and I decided that since there was a little bit more empty space up there at the top that I liked the sentiment up there a little bit better. I decided to use some quarter inch tape. This is foam tape from uh, scrapbook.com and I decided to use that uh, just to pop the sentiment up a little bit off of my card base and give it a little bit of added interest. Um, I did also decide to go ahead and um, trim the card panel down so I could mount it on a white A2 size card base. Uh, originally this was four and a quarter by five and a half and I trimmed it down to four by five and a quarter so that it would have a nice um, like mat around the 
the edge with that white card base. Uh, and as per usual, I put the bumpy stuff on before I applied <laughs> the card panel to its card base. But if I were to do it again, I should listen to my own advice and adhere the card front to the card base before applying any dimensional pieces. I'm using my ATG to go ahead and uh, apply that card panel to the card base. And I love that white on white look that I'm getting around the edges there. Uh, and then I decided this card wouldn't be complete without a little bit of sparkle. So I'm adding a couple of clear sequins. Um, I'm going to be using the embellishment one from Studio Katya to apply those. Um, and I just thought that little bit of sparkle surrounding the sentiment would be really nice. You could also maybe use either uh, clear drops from Nuvo or like maybe some tiny little sequins on the bodies of the butterfly and that would be really cute as well. Um, so here you can see I'm just using the little glue tube and the embellishment wand from Studio Katia to apply these little sequins and that finishes off the card. I wanted to keep it nice and simple, keep the focus uh, on the butterflies and the cute little sparkles there. I hope you guys love today's card. If you do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment down below and I will see you guys in another video really soon.